Welcome to this lecture. So first definition is here query processing. It is a process of translation a high level query into low level expression that is closely to the physical level for understanding. Just in which we are going to translate our query into relational algebra expression, we want to process our query in a very efficient way. The purpose of translating from higher to lower level language that we want to execute the query. SQL is a 5G language. So DBMS not directly understand the query. So query processing basically we are going to execute our query in a very efficient manner. Query optimization. The process of choosing the most optimized execution method for query processing is called query optimization. The process of choosing the most appropriate execution strategy for query processing is called query optimization. In this way, we can save our time and resources. The minimum cost of the query will be helping to increase the functionality of our system. Optimization is required. Otherwise, our DBMS, our DDBMS and whole advantage of database will be not beneficial for us. An internal representation of the query is then created such as a query tree, then alternative execution methods are tested for retrieving results of data from the database tables for the query optimization. So query optimization is very important. Problem in DD BMS is that because of our database is here at site 1 and site 2, site 3, as we know there are more than one database that are in DDBMS environment. One of the major issue in DDBMS is query processing because our data is stored at different sites. And our problem is we want to fetch data from all the sites. So what are the best way to fetch data? So for example, I want to access data from site 1, site 2, site 3, but I am here at site 5. So what will be the best method? What will be the best algorithm to fetch the data by using communication network from site 1, 2 and 3? So we are going to work on query optimization process. Query optimization will result in use minimum resources and our result should be according to our expectations. So here are the query processing issues in DDBMS. The presence of a number of fragments at various sites. It means that we have database or fragment at site 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You know that in distributed database management system, local processing capabilities may be not good. So our third problem is here, the speed of communication link. Maybe due to the many requests, the speed of the communication network go down. So these are some issues in query processing in DDBMS due to multiple fragmentation it is hard to fetch data maybe low capacity of hardware that may cause slow speed due to heavy loaded network also is an issue in DDBMS so these three factors can damage the query processing process 
So here is the figure which is parser translator when we are going to execute a query what will be happen so query optimizer code generator and database processor query processing is a set of all activities starting from query placement over input so starting from here from input of a query to displaying the results or output of the query first step is parsing and translation in this process query is translated into relational algebra and then parser makes a tree for the query validate checks the query it is according to the structure and arguments are valid or not then query optimization process optimize the query in query optimization remember one thing result will be according to the input but or we can say that according to our desire but the cost of a query execution should be minimum so these are the steps that we follow to execute the query